Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to look at this left side slide out toolbar. Um, one thing to note is that in the overhead view where you're looking at all your walls, this will just give you some helpful tips. But when you go into a wall itself, that's when you get some uh, tools that become available in here. So let's take a look at these. The move and swap tool. Uh, this is fun for a long, uh, a long wall where you want to swap, say, the first uh, unit and the last unit. So let's move one and five and swap them. So as you can see, one moved over here, five over here, and then they also changed their position because they're now in different sections of this wall. Let's move them back real quick. So just swap them. Now, so we don't want to swap, but we want to move one over towards five. And what it's, what it's going to do is, say we choose one and five and hit move. So from one, move it over to five. It's going to slide the rest of the units over to the left. All, the, all these components are going to be kicked over. So let's say we want to move five back to one. We'll get the original design that we started with. Uh, Equalize tool, I'm going to skip for one second. First, let's look at the bulk edit. So this is, um, you can choose any section you want. So say you choose all of them, and we want to, let's see what we got. We're at 29 for a lot of these on width and a height of 84. All right, so let's make all their depths 16, height maybe 90. We have a 96 um, tall, 96 inch ceiling. And width, let's make them all 24. And we have right now all five sections selected. You can select any amount you want to do as bulk edit. I'm going to do all of them for now. And you see they all went up and are all now at 24 wide and 16 deep. So now we can look at the equalize tool. And what this will do is you can equalize any of these sections and take the open space and... Uh, spread out equally among whatever sections you pick. So say 1 in 5 and 4 we want to all equalize. We'll leave the drawers at 24, um, 24 wide. Hit the equalize there. You can see this is 27.625, 27.625, 27.625. You'll also notice we have a little bit of open space. We'll just put that on uh, this outside unit. This double arrow tool will pick up the remaining of that open space. So we have the bulk edit. So countertop. Um, one thing to note is for us to be able to put countertop, you need to have a base. So let's swap this guy out. Go to one of our bases. The countertop's down here. Um, we'll just open the side if you have nothing there. So pop out on the left and choose section 4. Hit go, and it's going to add our first countertop down here under the countertops tab. Um, you'll notice that you don't really see too much in here yet because it's coming in as a melamine countertop. You can see it's, that's the default. Let's try changing it to white and you'll see that uh, we now have the display of white countertop in there. And then if you want to add more countertops so you have a couple bases in here you'll just get countertop 1, countertop 2 and so on. Adding accessories, so we have uh, tag hardware accessories available in here. Let's add a oil rub bronze belt rack. Choose which which section you want. Um, these section zeros and 99s are for the filler and reserve space we have. So I'd recommend ignoring those and uh, working with the sections one through five that we have here. So let's put it in uh, section one. And we'll do uh, the left side up here and maybe add uh, 64 inches. So just add that accessory. And you'll see it coming on the wall. And that'll be, uh, let's see, the 3D for that too. That'll be available in the 3D also. So here's the tie rack right here. And you can press Q when you're in here to make it move or pop out couple little design things there. And here's our uh, marble countertop. So accessory, next uh, ceiling offset. Let's do um, wall heights first. 
So you can see we have um, from 1 to 2, so over here would be 1, over here would be 2 of our um, X offsets, and the heights are both at 96. Say we want to change this to 84. So we're going to be going from a ceiling height of 84 up to 96. And now our units are um, going outside of the outside of the ceiling, so let's do a ceiling offset. Right here, we can set the amount of inches that we want a unit to be um, off the ceiling from. We'll select all of them and do, do uh, three inches. Hit go, and it's going to stagger these units up the wall as it elevates. We can also do a peak ceiling. So add in another, and at the X off, so put it uh, at 95 inches, just about halfway through. Change this R1 to 84. And let's say 120. Make a very big peak ceiling here. You can see we're now going from 84 up to 120, down to 84. If we want to do a ceiling offset again to uh, bring these units up, we can do that. See, they just expanded up to the ceiling. These are uh, get maxed out at 96 for the vertical panels. And uh, that seems like all we have over here on this left side. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, just give us a call. Thanks.